Arlena with Avon. Today I'm going to show you the difference between a $100 order, a $500 order, and a $1,000 order, and what that means in your earnings when you're placing that order. So let's get started. We are going to show you how much you would earn on a $100 order. Everyone knows that we have the Hit 100 Challenge right now, where you bank extra $20 when you place a $100 or more order. But if you are wanting to make more money in this business, then you definitely want to place more than a $100 order. So for a $100 order, that will result in 20% earnings, okay? And your earnings for that campaign is $20. If you are looking to make more, then you would want to bump up to maybe one of the next levels. The next level we are going to talk about is the $500 order. A $500 order will result in 40% earnings and you earn $200. A $1,000 order will result in even more money. So we are going to talk about three different levels. There are more that you can find on the earnings tab on youravon.com. A 45, um, I'm sorry, a thousand dollar order result in a 45% earnings bracket, and that is $450. So when you are looking to make more money and you are wanting to pay the bills or buy Christmas this Christmas season, you can look at and see would a hundred dollar order bring you enough money or discount with if you're buying Avon products for your presents like I am. Would a $500 order be enough of a discount or money to pay for your presents or would a $1,000 order? For me, I am, of course, um, a single mom and I'm supporting my two kids. And so this means more to me than just a little bit of pocket money. And so you want to base it off of whatever your goals are. Your goals may be just some fun money for your family or vacation money or college money or Christmas money or maybe it is to pay your bills every month. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how to get a $100, uh, well we're not going to focus on a $100 order, but we're going to look at the $500 order and the $1,000 order and how to reach those. Okay, so an average order with Avon is $25. And in order to have a $500 order that you will need 20 customer orders. And this will result in a $500 order. 20 customers buying $25, $500 in sales. To have the $1,000 order, of course, we will just double everything except for the average order stays the same. So the average order, $25, 40 customers that are placing orders will result in a $1,000 order. And when you look at this, you're going to see you have your $500. 20 customers, your thousand dollars, 40 customers. In my experience, out of eight years, I've always had a third of my customers order. So whatever my customer base was, with me following up, I always had a third who placed an order. So I'm going to show you how many customers you would need in your customer base to give a brochure to every two weeks in order to result in $500 or $1,000. For a $500 order, you need 20 customers. So 20 customers that are placing orders times three, you will need 60 customers that you are placing a brochure in their hand every two weeks. In order to have a thousand dollar order, you want to just, of course, double this. So you need 40 orders times three result in 120 customers. Now, in order to do this, you might be thinking, how would I go out and how would I get either 60 customers or 120 customers? 
Will this happen overnight? No. This is going to be something that you will work towards and work your way up. Can it happen very quickly if you put the work into it? It can. And for me, I worked my way in. I only started at the $100 level when I started because I wasn't really looking to make a whole lot. I just wanted to sell. But then I quickly grew to the $500 and then $1,000 within my first year. And so this is something that I really have worked on and did not realize, but love numbers. And so this is what um, I came to the conclusion of is if I wanted a thousand dollar order, then I wanted 40 orders for my customers. All right, so let's talk about some tips. What would we do to get this? You want to look at your schedule and you want to look at your brochures and how many are you ordering. If you are wanting to do 60 customers every two weeks, then you definitely want to buy 100 brochures. If you are looking for 120, then you would want to have 200 brochures. With this, you will pass out your brochures every day. So you don't want them sitting in your house. You want to take them out and pass them out. So you want to, this is our second tip, pass out, pass brochures to new people daily. The next thing that you want to do, of course, is go back to your customers and give your customers their brochures. So all Regular customers, a new brochure, every two weeks, okay? The biggest thing that I have noticed in order for me to get, whether I wanted 20 orders, 40 orders, or even five orders, was to follow up. So you definitely want to follow up. Follow up. And what I did when I first started my orders review on Wednesdays is so Monday and Tuesday, I spent a couple hours depending on how many customers I had. Of course, in the beginning, um, it only took a couple hours to call a few customers, but as it grew, it took two days to start calling customers and make sure I reach out to everybody. And what I simply did was, hey, this is Arlena with Avon. I'm placing my order tomorrow. Would you like anything? Is there anything I can get you? And then I went off of what they responded to that question. So if they said yes, of course I took their order. And if they said no, or I haven't had a chance to look at the brochure, then I would definitely tell them, oh, I'll call you back in a little bit. Or you, sometimes they would call me back before I got back to them. If they said no, they did not have an order, then I would always ask them, would you like the next brochure? Especially if it was a new person that I was reaching out to. So I always made sure that I gave them new brochures every two weeks. And that's one reason why my orders grew from $100 to $1,000. And even now, sometimes it's $2,000 just based off of what um, my customers are buying at that moment. So these are a couple tips here. You definitely want to do follow up. You want to call. I know text is kind of big right now. Um, it's been big for a while, but I've always found calling works better than texting a lot of people. You can still do that. Um, the text with some of the people that you have that are used to that and know you and the regular customers. But I would always suggest calling them and reaching out to them just that way because that seemed to always get me more sales here than it would here. I always get around here if I just text, but if I will sit down and call a lot more people, then I get more sales. So that's just another personal experience that I have um, found just over the last couple of years since text has gotten bigger than calling people, but people still want that reach out to talk to you. So another thing that you can do is, let's talk about your customers. So you've got your regular customers, whether it's five customers, 20 customers, or you know 200 customers. You can always give them extra brochures. So you can ask for referrals.
or you can um, ask them to take brochures. You can give them one to three brochures for their family or friends, okay? And what this will do for you is reach out to more people that you don't know, but that your customers actually see. So one of my things that I always say is someone that is your closest friend always know 100 people more than you know. So you might have a couple people that y'all know together, but you always know people that other people that you're close to. Even my mom, I know a lot more people than my mom does on a different scale. So you always want to ask your um, your customers if they will pass out their brochures to family, friends, or if they have a job, then you can always ask them to take them to work and pass out to their coworkers. Another tip is tailgating. So let's talk about um, events. Tailgating. Or right now we have festivals, like fall festivals, truck shows with um, the different churches will do that. You have Santa workshops coming up. So that's another good way where you can reach out to new people, grow your sales, and also maybe help a daycare or help a school raise funds for their um, organization, whatever they might be looking to raise funds for. But then you can also reach out and get new customers. And sometimes those are repeat customers or new recruits. Um, then, of course, going back to something that's new since um, I have been with Avon is social media. Social media is a big thing. Everybody knows some kind of website, something that you can go on and promote your business and promote yourself. I know my daughter is on Snapchat. I have not even started Snapchat. I don't even know how to start that, but I'm on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. And with your social media, you, media, you always want to um, share the brochure, share the opportunity, let them know that you're selling Avon. The other thing that you can do is your um, setting your brochure. If you don't know your products, then your customers might not know to ask you, or if they do, then you might stumble and not know something. So you wanna make sure that you know what you are talking about, especially when your customers ask and if it's a new person. So you, every campaign you always want to set your brochure. Right now, we have our Fergie um, perfume set for $25, and $5 is going to the breast cancer organization. So that's something that you would definitely want to know from your brochure that you can share on social media, you can share with your um, at events, you can share with your customers asking for referrals and letting them know so they can share to all of their people they're going to take brochures to. When you um, pass out the brochure, you definitely want to tell your regular customers, your new customers, um, about the breast cancer awareness that Avon is doing right now to help support it. So that's one of the things when you study your brochure, you can always pick something out that either Avon is doing globally or something that you can look at that you want to focus on yourself. Another cool thing that you can do is get a customer review on a skincare product. So Different Avon ladies will, um, they use different skincare lines. So maybe you use one, your customers use another. I use a new Vitale line where I have a couple customers who use the new Platinum. I sell more of the Platinum than I do any other line, but those customers really like that line. And I can go back and tell new people about the Platinum line where I can tell them about the, um, the Vitale line. And then my mom uses the, a new Ultimate line. So those are three different lines that we have. We have more, but those are the ones that I know about because those are the ones that I sell the most. So you definitely want to get your customer's reviews on any products that they use. It can be the mascara, it can be the foundation, the new lipstick, a new skincare. You want to get their review if you have not um, use that product or a customer comes and let you know about something. And the same thing, you wanna go back and you wanna share with social media and at your events with the customers that you're gonna give the new brochures to, 
and you want to make sure that they know about the new product or a product that a customer really likes. A lot of people love sharing about the products, and so you definitely want to know about that. So I hope this helps you in determining how much you want to make and then how to get there. You have a $100 order, which will result in $20 in earnings. You have a $500 order, $200 in earnings, or a $1,000 order, and it has $450 in earnings. An average order is $25 at 20 customers. That will result in $500 in sales. And then an uh, average order $25 for each customer, 40 orders will result in $1,000 in sales. So I hope this helps you pick which one that you would like to do. It's up to you. There is no wrong answer. If you want a $100 order, you just want a 20% discount on your products and be a personal shopper, you're more than welcome to. If you're looking to make more money, whether it's fun money or play money, then you can. Um, or if you're actually looking to pay bills and do a lot more and help out, then go for the $1,000 order. I hope this helps you and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.